Hey everyone, so I've been sat here for the last week or two filling out applications at my computer, applying for jobs. And at the same time, I've been feeling pretty unfulfilled. You know, I've not been able to work towards starting a business during that time. I've been putting all my time, attention and focus into getting jobs, but I've not been making any productive steps towards getting um, a business up and running. And it's really been making me feel unfulfilled. So I wanted to make a video today about um, that sort of conflicting needs and desires of needing to get a job and also starting a business. And also what I think that conflict of emotion means to me as a person and, and means to anyone else having those feelings. I feel completely different now, this time around applying to jobs than I have in the past two, three years ago when that just seemed like the only option to do. So I wanted to make a video about what I think that really means if you're having that conflict of emotion. So let's get one thing straight. I really need a job. You know, I've been, um, for those new to the channel, I've just moved to a new city of Leeds in the UK. I've enrolled in a postgraduate master's course on the topic of entrepreneurship, which has a big tuition fee attached to it. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the UK tuition fees, but tuition fees in the UK are £10,000 for a master's degree. You know, I've got to pay for that. I've got to pay for accommodation, food and living costs during that time as well. So. I have a lot of financial responsibilities at the moment that I need to make sure I've got cash for or else I'm going to be in debt and I'm going to owe a lot of people a lot of money, which is not something I want to do. So I have this practical need where I need cash up front. I was also traveling Canada and the US last year. That's when I started this um, YouTube channel up and you probably saw from my old videos, me being in different settings outside in the mountains or in different recording studios. And that's because I was traveling the world last year in different locations and also that cost money too. So when I came back to the UK, I wasn't flowing with cash funds. I had very limited cash to my name and I, to top up onto that, I enrolled on this degree for a year which has got other financial responsibilities attached to it. So there's a very practical need attached to my life at the moment where I need a job, I need cash here and now. Um, but the thing with getting a job, you know, I've just come to the new city and I need to get this job, is on average it's estimated you need to fill in around 30 to 40 job applications to get a job, um, well, to, I guess to get the kind of job that you want. You know, and I've um, built a career over the last three, four years. I don't want to go back to um, menial work, I want to build on that career I've already built. So I'm looking for a very specific specific type of job and the forecast that's out there, the research shows that you need to be doing about 30, 40 applications on average before you can get that kind of work. And you know, that takes a lot of time. These applications that companies expect you to fill in these days take so long to fill in, like an hour or two at least. So it's, gonna, it's taking a ton of time getting these applications out, arranging interviews, and just managing my time to get towards that goal of getting a job, getting some cash in, and alleviating that financial stress and worry of, of where's the cash gonna come in next. But at the same time, while I'm doing all this, it's taken away from the time that I can put into building a business. And I've realized while I'm doing this, all these application processes, that I have a natural desire to be working on a business. I wanna be entrepreneurial. And that realization has made me um, understand that I've changed a person from the person that I was two, three years ago. You know, two, three years ago, creating my own business and, and finding alternative sources of income wouldn't have even popped into my head. It wouldn't have been an afterthought. There would have been no inclination to think that way. I would have been like, okay, I need money, get a job. That's how my life is gonna pan out. I'm gonna work, work in a job, get promotions, work up, and that's the only source of income I need to work, consider. And I started this YouTube channel about 16 months ago, and I admitted in my first video that the life I'd been living before that, you know, the career nine to five dollar life, where I was just going from job and relying on one single um, source of income, it didn't, it wasn't sitting right with me. It wasn't making me fulfilled as a person. I didn't feel comfortable uh, following that model and I wanted to be more entrepreneurial, more independent and find alternate, alternative sources of income and alternative definitions of success that resonated more with me. And that's when I started this channel and for those of you who have been subscribers since the early days, you know that I've tried different things out, different money making schemes to try and make um, my life more independent and to become more entrepreneurial. And I've had limited success to a certain extent. Um, I'm at the point now where I'm getting about a third um, of an average wage 
every month coming in from uh, additional sources of income that I've created myself after just 15, 16 months. So, you know, I'm well on the way to getting where I wanted to be. That path is being built. I'm building that path myself, but I'm not at the point yet where I can rely completely on my online alternative sources of income. I have to get a job. And to be honest, I spent the summer without a job. I came back to the UK in May and I spent from May to September um, the period between arriving back in the UK to coming to university to study this master's degree. I spent that self-employed, focusing completely on YouTube and my own um, different business projects. And because I was living with my, my family at home and I could really bring my costs down, I actually didn't need um, a job over the summer. And that was, that was great, you know, it really helped me get a feeling of independence. But at the same time, there was things about the working world that I missed. You know, I missed the social side of being around a lot of people my own age with a similar interest and the perks that come with a job, like, you know, the company, socials, the, the nights of drinking. So there were some things I missed. Um, so I'm happy, you know, looking for a job and I think it will be uh, beneficial for me being in a new city, being able to meet new people and, and create that, um, that social bedrock and also learn skills that I can use towards my own money making projects and businesses on the side. But that aside, I know deep down now that I am an entrepreneur and that I want to create my own businesses and have either side income or eventually work towards a full income with my own projects to replace a nine to five. So I have a balance of the two or eventually get to the point where I am completely self-employed, self-sufficient um, from the revenue sources that I've made online. So yeah, I just wanted to talk really about how I've changed in the last couple of years and I now know, like I've started with this channel a year and a half ago and I feel like there's no going back. You know, I've scratched the surface of what's possible, of online business, making money online, working for yourself and I want to dig deeper and deeper and make myself more successful at that and to create more sources of income. And that's just proven to me that starting this project, starting, start, starting up and starting to explore what else is available was the right decision for me. And I think if you're doing the same thing as me and you're making your own source of income, working towards your own business and you have that deep motivation to keep going and you want to keep exploring this and you want to keep growing it, that's all the proof you need as well to prove to yourself that this is the right decision to you and maybe the conventional nine to five career driven lifestyle isn't the option for you or isn't the only option for you. You can explore different options and find the perfect balance and the perfect solution for what you're craving in life. So yeah, that's it. No business update, no progress update this week. I just wanted to talk about how I've had this revelation of like, I am this new person, I am this new entrepreneur, and I have taking action and actually starting to thank for that. If I had never started this project and I'd never discovered this stuff myself, I never would have known. So for those of you that are toying with making money online or toying with starting your own business, just start. That's all I can say to you guys, start. And that's gonna be proof enough to you of whether that's the right decision for you or not. You probably won't have success at the start, but if you have that deep down determination to keep going, to keep giving it your all, then you, that's proof, that's all the proof you need that something's not right for you in your normal life and you need to make these new opportunities for yourself. So that's it really. Thanks for watching guys. Just a philosophical, reflective video this week. Hopefully next week I'll be closer towards having a job and I can give you an update towards my business projects and my personal life. Even though I'm putting all my time and effort into applying for jobs at the moment, I have got business ideas in mind. There's a scholarship competition at my university for the best business idea. And I'm working towards um, creating a proposal and entering that competition. And I'm gonna share that idea with you guys as soon as that's all sort of done and ready and I've got this solid idea in my mind. So business updates to follow in the future. But for now, I just wanted to talk to you about feeling entrepreneurial and hopefully some of you can connect with my experiences and we can go forwards on this adventure together. So thanks for watching Start Starting Up, the channel where I am exploring ways to make money online as a way to improve my life. Make sure to watch my future videos and to subscribe to the channel if you've not already subscribed. If you have familiar experiences and that battle between what you need to do and what you want to do, let me know in the comments below. It'd be really interesting to hear about your own um, experiences and your own thoughts on this topic. So see you soon guys.